This is Megan from Mushrooms and Meadows. This is a video tutorial for people who have purchased the Sweet Handfuls Mini Baby Doll Crochet Pattern. We will be starting with the left foot and working through rounds 1 through 6. We're going to start with a chain 5. Round 1, starting in the second chain from the hook, 2 single crochets, increase, three single crochets in the next chain across the end of the row of chains. Now you're going to work up the opposite side. Make sure you tug the tail. Two single crochets. Followed by an increase in the last chain. And this is the end of round one, and you should end up with 11 stitches in round one. Now you're going to add your stitch marker. I like to add mine on the last stitch of the round, but a lot of people put it on the first stitch, so it's totally up to you. Just keep that in mind as you watch the tutorial. Starting round two, we're going to do five single crochet in the next stitch. All five single crochets go into the same stitch. Next, we're going to work around the foot doing nine single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and you'll notice the heel starts to form. Seven, eight, nine, and we'll finish this round with one slip stitch. At the end of round two, you should have 15 stitches in total. For round three, we're going to be starting with marking the back loops of each of the next two stitches you'll be working into. So the first thing you're going to do is find and mark the next two back loops. I used a small piece of yarn just to pull through the back loop to mark it. This is the first back loop. And this one is the second back loop. 
this is going to help you be able to find these two loops on the next round after we go all the way around again and when we start round four you're going to want to use these two back loops so it's important to mark them because otherwise they blend in and it's really hard to find them but i will say after you've made a couple dolls you probably won't have to mark them anymore because by then you'll kind of know where they are but the first couple times you're going to want to mark them for sure okay, starting in the front loop you're going to work in the front loop only and you're going to do one half double crochet and then one slip stitch and then into the next front loop only you're going to work one half double crochet and one slip stitch this forms the little toes in the next stitch you're going to work the bobble stitch as if you're making a double crochet you're going to yarn over insert your hook into the next stitch yarn under and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through the first two loops on your hook and you should have two loops remaining on your hook yarn over insert into the same hole yarn under and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through the first two loops on your hook remaining with three loops on your hook repeat again this time you'll end up with four loops on your hook repeat again And the last time you'll end up with five loops on your hook yarn over and pull through all five loops and that forms your bobble you're going to bend the bobble back and then insert your hook into the next stitch you're going to be making one single crochet so you're going to yarn under pull up a loop and this single crochet goes kind of behind the bobble and you'll see you'll have to pull on it to kind of get it nice and snug and make that big toe stick out next you're going to do nine single crochets one two three four five six seven eight nine you should have two stitches left and in these two stitches you're going to work an invisible decrease this is the end of round three now we're getting ready to start round four this is where your marked back loops are going to be important we're going to be working into those two loops next starting with the first marked back loop and insert your hook into that loop and we're going to make one single crochet make sure to pull tight so that it spans that little bit of a gap and you can remove your marker now now we're going to work into the next marked back loop so insert your hook and we're going to make one single crochet 
Now you can remove the yarn marker. The next stitch we're going to work into is the stitch that is just past the bobble. You're going to poke your hook into that stitch and we're going to do one single crochet. Then we're going to do another single crochet in the next stitch and then an invisible decrease. Then working around the rest of the round, you're going to do seven single crochets. One and two, three, four, five, six, and seven. You've now made it to the end of round four. If you've made it this far, you've made it through the most difficult part. I'm going to go ahead and do two more rounds with you. This is round five, starting with an invisible decrease, and then another invisible decrease. followed by eight single crochets around the foot, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And you've made it to the end of round five. Round six. You're going to start with an invisible decrease, followed by eight single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. You've made it to the end of round six. So by now the foot is fully formed and you're on the ankle and you're ready to follow the rest of the instructions in the pattern to make the rest of the leg. Moving on to the right foot. Start with chain five. Round one, starting in the second chain from the hook, you're going to make two single crochets. One, two, then an increase, three, 
followed by three single crochets in the next chain across the end of the row of chains. Tug on the tail and now you're going to work up the opposite side starting with one single crochet and then an increase. In the last chain you're going to be working five single crochets. So this is five single crochets all into the same stitch. And this is the end of round one and you should have 15 stitches in total. Starting round two, you're going to begin with 11 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and again you'll see the heel start to form, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You should have four stitches left to work into in this round. Next we're going to be doing the bobble stitch. So yarning over as though you're going to make a double crochet, you're going to insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn under and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through the first two loops on your hook, and continue in this way as you did before for the bobble stitch. On the last one you should end up with five loops on your hook. And you'll yarn over and pull it through all five loops to form your bobble. Bend the bobble back, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn under and pull up a loop. You're going to make a one single crochet that tacks down the bobble and you want to pull tight to make that toe stick out. And then we're going to work on to the next two stitches. The first thing you need to do is find and mark the next two back loops just like we did before. Finding the first back loop, use a little piece of brightly colored yarn to mark the back loop. And then go to the next back loop which is also the last stitch of your round and mark that back loop now working into the front loops only of the two stitches that you just marked the back loops. 
So front loop only, you're going to do one half double crochet. And one slip stitch in that same stitch. And in the next front loop only, you're going to do another half double crochet and one slip stitch in that same front loop. And you can see on the back side, those back loops are marked with your yarn. And this is going to be the end of round two. Starting round three, we're going to start with one slip stitch. Then we're going to do seven single crochets around the foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Next, we have an invisible decrease. Then two more single crochets. One, two. You should be in the stitch right on the side of the bobble. Next, we're going to be working into the marked back loops. Don't be afraid to bridge that gap with by keeping your tension nice and even. So finding the first marked back loop, you're going to insert your hook into the first marked back loop, and then you're going to yarn over and make it one single crochet, and remove the yarn marker. And next we're going to work into the second marked back loop. You insert your hook into the loop, make a single crochet, and remove the yarn marker. And you've now reached the end of round three. At this point I like to leave my stitch marker in place so I can see where the first stitch is of the next round because that first stitch we're going to skip the first stitch and then we're going to work into the second stitch. So you're going to make a single crochet into that second stitch which is the first of eight single crochets. And then at this point I like to move my stitch marker to mark either the end of round three or the beginning of round four depending on how you like to do it. I mark the end of the round. Continuing on, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. And now we're going to do two invisible decreases. So you should have four stitches left to the end of the round, starting with the first invisible decrease. and the second invisible decrease.
and you've reached the end of round four. Starting round five, you're going to begin with eight single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, and eight. We'll finish off this round with an invisible decrease. And you should have a total of nine stitches. And you've reached the end of round five. You've made it through the hardest rounds of the right foot, rounds one through five. And from here, you can go on to use the written pattern to continue the right leg. And here are both feet together. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy making your sweet handfuls mini baby doll.